99% of WordPress users have no idea about this hidden feature in their dashboard. This shows you where every single dollar is coming from, not just traffic, actual money. And it's been sitting there all the time waiting for you to activate it. And this, what I'll be showing you in this video. If you are ready, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. For me, I had no clue that YouTube was generating like 32% of my revenue. While I was overdoing SEO, writing blog posts, optimizing, and that only brought me 6%. This free feature changed everything. And by the end of this video, you will have it running on your website too. And if you stick to the end, you will also get the new AI integration. Plugins like Monster Insights may charge up to $200 to show you e-commerce data inside your website. But today, we will activate the hidden feature in just five minutes and see this data for free. But before we set this up and activate this feature, let me show you like in one minute how important the data is. For example, if you look at my data, you will see that YouTube here got me 33% of the revenue. Direct traffic, 42%. While Google Organic, only 6%. So writing a lot of blog posts every week, optimizing for SEO, trying to get organic traffic is only 6% of the revenue. While three or four YouTube videos a month is getting 33% of the revenue. So this way you can understand what's working for you, what is not working, and what to optimize. Another example is email from ConvertKit. I have only 1.3% from 1,738 visitors. I get 1,700 clicks for only one conversion. So maybe I need to check my email copies, my email list, and see what's going on. But if you look at this one from Udemy, from only seven visitors, I get a conversion. So maybe I should double down on Udemy traffic and promote my courses there. You see here also on Medium, I got one traffic from 135 visitors. Maybe I should focus on Medium to increase this revenue and so on. This is really a treasure and a game changer if you want to 10x your revenue. This is a must. Every website should have this feature activated. Now, seeing this data was just the beginning. I wanted to know exactly what's going on, why some sources convert better than others, how to optimize. I wanted to go in depth in my analytics and this is where I found this awesome Skillshare course. Ultimate Google Analytics 4 with 50 practical use cases. 54 lessons and tips that goes way deeper than any basic analytics. For example, in lesson 49, traffic sources evaluation explains why some traffic converts and some doesn't. And lesson 43 on product performance that inspired me to change how I think about data. I'll share it with you in a few seconds. I'm actually still working through this course with these examples and tips and now focusing on how I can fix this terrible email conversion rate. Not only that, and speaking of WordPress features, on Skillshare you'll find my course on building AI tools like MicroSaaS on top of WordPress and selling it. A unique course that you'll never find somewhere else. There's also my course on building AI agents from scratch. Skillshare is one of the largest online learning communities out there, with thousands of classes covering almost everything from design, illustration, to marketing, business, freelancing, and even programming and development. There's something for everyone. And the best part, I have part with Skillshare, so the first 500 people to join Skillshare with the link in the description below, will get 100% free access to all classes on Skillshare, including mine, for 30 days. What are you waiting for? Go now and get started and shape your future. Okay, let's now see how to activate this feature on your WordPress website. First, go here to plugins, add a new plugin. Please follow up, search for code snippets and activate this one here, install and activate, and you will get the snippets plugins on your website. Click on add a new snippet and give it a name, anything you want, for example, like GA Analytics Feature, 
and then go here to powerkit.dev slash tools and then search for code share. You'll find this tool here, code share, and then click on this snippet, WP snippet, GA data main. Click on view to open the snippet and simply copy it. Go back to your snippets, paste it here, and click on activate. That's it, it's activated, refresh, and you will see now we have something called site insights. What you will do now is go here to settings and you will need to configure your Google Analytics property ID, service account, and private key to connect with Google Analytics. And here you'll find the setup instructions up in Google Cloud Console. If it's your first time on Google Cloud Console, just go here and create a project. If you have a project, just select it and then go to the menu, API and services, enabled APIs, and we need to activate and enable the Google Analytics API. So click here on enable APIs and services, and then search for Google Analytics, and simply go here, Google Analytics Data API, and activate it. In my case, it's already enabled. You just click on enable and you will get it enabled. Very simple. Then go back here to this section to create a service account. Service accounts, and you see I already get one. In your case, just click on create a service account. Let's give it a name, create and continue. I'll give it owner and then continue, done. Then go here, manage keys, add a key, create a new key, select JSON, create, and we got the JSON downloaded. If you open it now, you will see we have now the client email and we have the private key. Going back to settings, you can see here we have the service account email and the private key, you just paste it here. Then we need to get the Google property ID. So go to Google Analytics, select the website you want to track and then go to admin then click on property property details and get the property id it's that simple go back to settings and paste it here so we have the property id we have the service account email and the private key and save your settings we still have one thing to do which is this step in ga4 in google analytics add the service account as a viewer access. So here, just click on property access management and you can add the service account email here. You can see my email is here. Just click on plus, add a user and simply get the email from the JSON and paste it here and just set as a viewer. We just need to read only access and click on add. Perfect, it's added. Now we go back to settings and save changes. So now we have the property ID from Google Analytics. We have the service account and the private key to connect with Google Analytics. Click on Site Insights. And now we get the feature activated. You can select the dates, click on Load Data. In a few seconds, you'll get this awesome chart, the breakdown by days and this data directly inside WordPress. And here you can activate the revenue and the visitors as you like. So you can see the traffic and revenue both on the same chart. We are not done yet. As I promised, I wanna show you how to enable the additional AI feature in this dashboard. But before that, I wanna talk about something really critical. And I think 90% of users forget to do it or even don't know about it. It is the UTM parameters and this is what allows us to track the revenue and see what's going on on your website. So without it, this dashboard will not work. Let me explain it in one minute and with a very simple example to catch and grab the idea. So here I have YouTube referral with 33%. So I know that this is coming from YouTube, but if I go to YouTube, to my channel, you say I have a lot of videos. Which video is converting better? Let's go and open any of these videos and go down the description and you will see, for example, this link here to my course. If I open it, it will open my course landing page and you will see in the URL, we have these parameters. 
These are called the UTM parameters, the UTM source, UTM medium, and the UTM campaign. And you can see I added the video ID in the campaign. So the source is YouTube, the medium is a video, and the campaign is this exact video ID. This is very important if you want to track exactly what's going on and from where exactly the traffic is coming and the conversions is happening. Not only that, take this important tip too. If you see at this URL, you will not see exactly the same one here inside YouTube. I have something shorter. If you go back to my website, to my dashboard, if you go here to pretty links, you will see for these links, I create a short version like this one here that points out to this long link with UTMs. This helps me create shorter links, trackable links, and more importantly, in case I want to change this landing page URL, I don't have to go all over the internet and change it. I just change it from one place here inside my dashboard, and this link will stay as it is all over the internet. This is very important when you want to create links to track and manage. Use a short link service. Pretty link is free inside WordPress. Now it's time to see how we can activate the hidden AI feature here. Simply go back to snippets and deactivate the snippet we created. Go now back to PowerKit to code snippets and you will see this one, WP Snippets AI Powered Analytics. Open it, copy the code, just create this new snippet, add a new, let's call it GA Analytics AI Powered paste the snippet here, activate, let's refresh, and now on the site insights, go to settings, and you'll see now we have AI insights, just make sure to paste your OpenAI API key and enable the insights here, then simply go to site insights and you will see the AI powered feature activated, let's load the data, and now we have get AI insights button, let's click it, and now it will analyze our data and give us recommendations, tips, and things to do to optimize based on our data. You can see we have the performance score. We have some recommendations with priorities. We have issues to address and much more. Now, maybe you are wondering, asking why I didn't just show this snippet at the beginning of the video powered by AI while I showed you two snippets. I have two reasons for that. Number one, honestly, for engagement. I thought that this flow in the video will keep you hooked and wait for the AI version or the AI feature. Number two is I want to give you two versions of the same snippet. Maybe someone would prefer the basic one and work with AI to update and add their own features or maybe turn into their own plugin. If you want to learn more about how I create snippets with AI and how you need to think twice before buying another plugin because you can replace some plugins easily with AI. Maybe you should watch this video and see this in action, and I'm sure you will thank me later. If you learned something new today, please don't forget to smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.